Hey guys, just left Bath and Body Works. I found some candles and a lot of the mini candles because I believe today they were having a sale where they're like $5. So there was about five of them damaged, some warmers and another candle. I just hit up Barnes and Nobles and found a whole bunch of cool things. I'm gonna show you when I get home. Okay, quickly, I just wanna go over the clip that I showed you that I found some Bath and Body Works items. And there was one more visit after that that I did not get to film. I'm gonna go over everything real quick. And sorry if you hear like any music or movie in the background, my kids are watching Frozen and I can't get them to turn it down. So hopefully you don't hear that, but let's get started. Right here is a sweet cinnamon pumpkin um, exfoliating scrub. It's a return. There's still quite a bit of product in there and I do love that scent. This is a magnet, I believe, to a lid. A part is broken off and I did find that, so I'm just gonna hot glue that back on. And it was 460. Okay, here it is. This little like pretty part goes right there, so I just have to hot glue that back on and that magnet is good to go. Two warmers, I have no idea what scents they are, or I mean warmer refills, but there's still a ton of product in them both. I'm not sure all the scents to the mini candles because they were broken already. Oh, we got one that I can see. This one is Twisted Peppermint. This one is Spiced Apple Toddy. So I have a full-size candle in Pumpkin Apple. It's been burnt, but there's still a ton of product in there. I'm gonna be careful, I don't wanna like cut myself. This one is Midnight Blue Citrus. So once again, I found a lot of the mini ones this certain day because it was the day that they were $5 each. And this one is in Relax by the Aromatherapy. And the last one from that day is a Tis the Season. So I found a Winter Candy Apple Soap. I have no idea what's wrong with it. It's covered in wax, maybe that's what happened, but good to go one burnt candle um these ones i don't usually repot i will break these up and use these in the warmers so this one is marshmallow fireside this is a body mist this is bonfire bash so this was the um try on at the store and there's still quite a bit of product in there this ooh, what happened to this i don't know this is a black cherry ow. Merlot. I think this might be an old one. I don't know if they have that packaging right now. And it was burnt. Another one. So that's a really pretty top. Pretty winter. It's like the holiday packaging. Is, oops, another winter. So cool. Those smell really good. They smell like the marshmallow fireside to me. The next bag, this is um lavender vanilla and there's nothing wrong with this one i have no idea why this one was thrown out this is a cute little like i don't know what this is what drink this is a little mimosa i don't know it's a cute little wine um glass with a strawberry and a cheers sticking out of it it is used it's a return most of the time these do still work right here is cinnamon irish cream that is cinnamon spice, French vanilla and essential oils. And it's burned as well, but not burned for very long. So there's still a ton of products in there. Another candle, this is praline, pecan and cream. It was a return and this one was burned as well. Two more uh, refills. I don't know what this one is. And this one does have the tag. This is pumpkin apple. So this one is from the holiday collection. It's the Ski Lodge hot cocoa and cream. The packaging is so cute. I'm so upset it's broke. I would have loved to have this jar. And look at the lid. It's like snow dripping. It's so cute. So this one was just broken. Otherwise the candle itself is perfect. 
And the last bag from Bath & Body Works, this is a salted butterscotch. It's a return and it still has, <laughs> oops, still has a little torn coupon that was in the trash as well. This right here is a Georgia peach candle. And the wicks look a little funky, but yeah, it's almost full. It was burned. One definitely was a return because look at the weird burning that it did. I guess it didn't burn evenly, so I swatched it, switched it, I mean. So these ones I will not repot. I will just cut this up and use this in my wax warmer and it'll work just as fine. Oh, wait, I think that's what that one was. Oh no, I think that's what this one is. Thankful. This is, yep. The last one, and this is Thankful. It's an aromatherapy. It's just broken. So I have some extra caps. So that is everything that I found at Bath & Body Works. I think that's like three or four days worth of checking. So not too bad. Okay, so this is my Barnes & Nobles haul. It's quite a lot, so let's go through it real quick. So over here, I just found like some games, um, boogie collection. I don't know. It was $6.99. It's like a, a little toy set. This is Impact Battle Elements, Battle of the Elements game. It's a little bit undone in the wrapping paper, but I don't know. Overall, still good. This retailed for $19.99. I found a couple of loose stamps. This is a happy birthday. Well, it looks like somebody used it actually. And this one is You Are Magic with a Unicorn. And what did these retail for? $7.99. It's kind of pricey. $7.99. And then also a ink pad. It's not even been opened yet. And this is $4.99, I guess in the color green. I found this awesome Harry Potter like book. So it has this little lock and it opens up and there's two little like memory jars, the lid pops off. So I, could, I guess you could put like sand or like a scroll in there. And then this is a really cute book, like a notebook. It has this like cool jewel in the middle and it's just a notebook or a journal. It was $34.95 US. Right here are just some, what is it? Paper clips, like cute little designs. And these were five ninety nine each. That's pricey. You can find these things at the Dollar Tree. Um, I guess they just threw them out because they came undone from their little areas. I guess I have no idea. What a waste. This is a cute little box. Oops. I have no idea what it was for, but I just I kept it because you know it's so cute. You definitely put something small in there for a birthday present, or just keep it to put little things in. So I really like that. Right here is, what is this? Unis, you need an inflator, which I do not think is with this. These are just the unis. So it's like small bubbles or something, or small balloons that get blown up. And this is just the balloons. And this was $19.95. Barnes & Noble is a little bit pricey. Sorry for the glare, but right here is like a draw master book. It's like this little thing that has stickers and sketchbooks and markers. And I guess it just teaches kids step by step how to draw. It's really cute. This is a cork cube tape dispenser. It's pretty cute actually. So it's like this really heavy, chunky cork. That is basically a tape dispenser. And I guess you could stick like Mm, like sticky notes on there with thumbtacks and whatnot. The tape isn't in there, so I guess you can um, just buy it from anywhere, like the dollar store, and it goes in there. Really cute for a desk, or I'm actually going to hold on to it and give it to my son's teacher for Teacher Appreciation Week. Like, who wouldn't love this? And look at the price on that thing. These are three Stranger Thing patches, I believe. This is the character Lucas. These were $4.95 and they're all of Lucas. This is a big old comic sketchbook. It retailed for $9.98 and it's just a, a book to make your own sketches. So you would draw your own stories and put them in there. So that's really cute. Next up are a whole bunch of these 
push pins. So they're just thumbtacks in like little circular designs. I think they're all the same. Yeah, um, they're a little bit messy. These were $8.99. Like who would pay that much for some thumbtacks? Found all these baby dolls. They have little swimming flippers for feet. And what ridiculousness. These were $15.95 each. Who would pay that much for these dollar store babies? Like, people are crazy. Maybe that's why they threw them out. Nobody bought these things. But I have a ton of them. Uh, my daughter's probably going to keep one or two. And I'm going to donate the rest. Our little toys. This, like, squishy guy. My daughter got into that already. Um, this is a Ryan's World Goo. I hate goo. This is a Pick Me Pops Surprise Bubble Drop. It, oh, that sounds really weird. What is that? Is that a squishy get? Oh my God, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's cute. A whole bunch of these Little Pony movie toys. It's probably just like one little doll and these retail for $2.95. There's quite a bit of them. And then these are the PJ Masks little action figures. There's two of those. And these were $4.95. Like puzzles in this cute little container. Um, they're really cute. So there's three of those. And I did find this his and hers coffee mug set. But the hers was broken. But I was able to keep his. So that's really cute. And the last items from Barnes and Nobles are all these awesome 3D Halloween cards. Do you guys want to know something so funny? I actually went to Barnes and Nobles maybe like the end of September and I saw these by the cash register by the checkout area and I said, ooh, I can't wait to see those in the trash can because I know they always throw out the card displays. I have found Easter. I have found Christmas. Um, Mother's Day. So I knew these were going to be in there. So I kept an eye on that dumpster after Halloween. And yes, I did find them. So these are super cute. There are a whole bunch of 3D Halloween cards. And they pop open like that. And these bad boys are pretty pricey. These are $6.95. So I have multiples of each. These longer ones are a little bit more money, I think. Yep, $10.95. So cute, you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So guys, I'm at my local grocery store and there's like trash can full of stuff. I have um, a turtle that would love all this stuff. So I'm gonna see what there is and grab out some stuff. This is such a waste. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me keep looking. Okay, so I really only took fruit for my tortoise that eats fruit. So these expire, or best sell date is by the 29th. They're really cold. They were just thrown in there, I can tell. They were all in one box. I'm gonna rinse them off, put them in a strainer, and then put them in the freezer, and then let them unfreeze, and then my turtle's gonna have snacks for a few days. So that's pretty cool. We got cantaloupe, raspberries, and strawberries. Guys, don't be afraid to check your grocery store dumpsters as well. <laughs>